namo bhagavate vasudevaya om 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 namo bhagavate vasudevaya maya ide api vakunta loke purnaishwarye shri chatur vyuham madhye purnaishwarye shri chatur संकर्षनाक्यम रूपम यशोद्भाति संकर्षनाक्यम तम श्री नित्यानंद रामम प्रपद्ये तम श्री नित्यानंद रामम प्रपद्ये I surrender under the lotus feet of Sri Nityanand Ram, who is known as Sankarshana in the midst of the Chaturvyuha, consisting of Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pratyumna, and Anirudha. He possesses full opulences. And resides in Vaikuntha Loka, far beyond the material creation. Maya chite vyapi Vaikuntha Loka, purnai shadje sri chaturbha madhe, rupam jasya udhati shankar sanakyam, tam sri nitananda ramam prabhade. So, identification of Nityananda Prabhu. Uh, he is the uh, second Sankarsana also. The first Sankarsana, uh, Vasudeva Sankarsana, Pratyamna Aniruddha, Whole quadruple expansion of Balaram. <coughs> then from uh, Sankarshan, first Sankarshan, the Narayan, uh, four handed Narayan, that is the next expansion. And again from Narayan, there is another. Quadruple expansion. Second, <coughs> Sankarsan, Vasudev Pradyumna. <coughs> so, the second Sankarsan also is expansion of uh, Nityananda Ram, Balaram. So, uh, where is this Vaikuntha Loka? It is rather important to inquire because we cannot calculate even this material world, what is the length and breadth of this universe. This is only one universe. Uh, this is called Maik Brahmanda. Maik means uh, shadow. Uh, shadow. Shadow uh, is existing uh, on account of the real. Therefore it is called māyā. Uh, just like the example is uh, in your country, in the window, <coughs> there are many nice modern beautiful woman standing or a man standing nicely dressed. But that is not real man or woman. That is sad. That is called māyā. This is the example of māyā. Māyā means it, it is not fact, but it appears like fact. That is called māyā. Another example is just like the mileage, water in the desert. Actually there is no water, but it appears that there is water. The foolish animal, they run after this water, but there is no water. <coughs> Simply running after uh, 
widow the wish. Fantastic melodia. So every one of us in this material world hankering after happiness. Everyone is trying to be happy. But it is like the same that there is no water in the desert and still the foolish animal running after it. So this whole material creation is like that. The creator of this universe, Krishna, he says, Dukkhalayam asāsatam. <coughs> this is the place for suffering, and you are seeking after happiness. Just like in the prison house, uh, it is the place for suffering, and if you want to be comfortable, this is called māyā. Maya Sukhaya Bharamud Bhatu Bimura. The whole world is running after happiness. What is not possible. Therefore, they have been described as Bimura Raska. We sometimes use this word very frequently rascals, and they become angry. But actually that is the description. Rascals, all these so-called civilized men, so-called civilized men, they are not men even. They are all animals. But in the śāstra they have been described as deep of the portion. They are animals, but they have got two legs, that's all. That is the difference. Animals, generally, they have four legs, chatuśpā. But these animals have two legs, that is the They are animals. Because the same example, in the desert there is no water and the animal is running after it. Why he is called animal? Because he does not understand that in the desert how there can be water. Vidyapati has sung a song. Tātala sai kate bari bindu sama sutta mita ramani sama. We are trying to be happy here in this material world. How? Sutta mita ramani sama. Sutta means children, mita means friends, society, friendship and love. Why? Children. Tata. So one may say, unless there is no happiness, how they are struggling for this sutamita ramani So Vidyapati says, yes, there is happiness. Certainly there is happiness. Otherwise, why this vimura? foolish people running after it. So he says that the value of the happiness is a proportion of a drop of water in the desert. Tātala saikate. Tātala means very hot. And saikate means sand. Those who have seen desert, they have got experience. How it is intolerable during sunshine. Vast uh, tract of land with sand. Uh, so 
Naturally, they require water. So, if somebody says, yes, I'll give you water, and a drop of water, huh? what is called? Proportionate uh, toku. It is called toku. Yes, you want water. Take this water. Drop. Now what this water will do? Uh, this is desert. I want ocean of water. And you are giving me drop of water. What is well? So still we are uh, seeking water there. Yeah? Therefore it is rightly said, tātala saikate bari bindu sama, bari bindu sutam ta ramani samādi. Dihāpatta kalatrādi su ātma sainneśu asasu api paramatta tasa nidhanam pasanna pīna pasyati. Dihāpatta kalatrādi su. This body, they have. Uh, apatya, children, kalatra, wife, adishu, with all these things, then again extend from children to get, get them married, then again extension, daughter in law, son in law, grandson. In this way, we are increasing our so-called happiness, atma uh, and we are thinking that these surrounding friends, uh, society, friends and love, nation will give me protection. Uh, in our country I have seen Gandhi struggle so uh, and hard for getting independence, thinking that we will be happy. But Gandhi himself was killed. So this is called māyā. You try to understand māyā. Māyā means where there is no happiness, no fact, and still we are struggling for it. This is called māyā. Try to understand what is māyā. Maya sukhaya bharamus bhatu vimura. Pallad Maharaj. Actually, there is no fact, and still we are struggling for it. <coughs> the whole universe is like that. Even you are situated as Brahma, or you are situated as an ordinary insignificant ant. This struggle for existence is going on. So, uh, Prahlad Maharaj says that these rascals, they are struggling for existence, for happiness which is not possible uh, in this material world. And beyond this struggling uh, atmosphere, a material world, māyā otite, otite. Otite means beyond. Māyā otite, vāpī hmm? vaikuntha loke. There is another uh, world that is also informed in the Bhagavad-gītā. Para tasmāt bhāva anya bhaktyā bhaktyā sanātana there is another bhava. Bhava means uh, nature. Just like this is nature, we have got experience, the maya, uh, maya nature means here our main aim is to find out happiness. That is because we are spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna. Sachidananda Vigraha, Krishna. 
So we are also minute Satchit Ananda. Our existence is like that. But uh, because we are very small, therefore that, uh, I mean to say, quality, shock, becomes sometimes uh, extinguished. The example is just like this part of the fire. It is fire. Uh, a spark from the fire falls on your body. As soon as it falls, it will burn that small point-like place. Uh, so it has got the same quality, but as soon as it comes out of the fire, it becomes extinguished. No more fire. It is carbon. Again take it and put it in the fire, then again it is fire. So our uh, position is like that. We are actually of the same quality, sat ananda uh, So our falling down in this material world from Krishna means we lose our identity of eternity. It becomes covered, just like the same small spot. It is fired, but it is now extinguished. Cinder, just a cold cinder. So long it is with the original fire, it is also burning. But if you take it and keep it aside, then it becomes uh, acid. So this is our position. And we are struggling here. We have lost the fiery quality, and still we are trying to be fire. This is called Maya, Krishna. So there is another word that information is given here. Maya tite bapi. Bapi means very extensive. This whole material world is one form of Krishna's expansion, one form. And that Vaikuntha Loka is three fourth. So that word is called Bapi. Bapi means very extensive. We cannot calculate even this material existence. It is only one form. Now, how it will be possible for us to calculate the bapi vaikuntha loka? Bapi vaikuntha loka. Vaikuntha means be, uh, means uh, without. And kuntha means anxiety. So vaikuntha loka means there is no anxiety. There is no anxiety. Here, uh, we are full of anxiety in this material. Even big, big businessman who has got enough money, he will find he is in anxiety. Uh, he is always thinking how this business will go on, how this maintain. So many men. Uh, so our, I have seen it that our printer, Diana the president, when we, for the temporary, we stopped our business, just full of anxiety. Now they have agreed to reduce 10 percent more than any printer. Uh, why? He was full of anxiety. <coughs> this is the fact. So don't think that very big, big businessman or one who has got enough money, he has no anxiety. Anxiety there should be. This is the place of anxiety, kuntha. 
Prahlad Maharaj pointed it out that tatsādhumanni śrubhatya dehinā sadā samudvigna dhyāṁ asatgraḥ. Here in this material world, we are very there. The Brahma is also anxiety, in full of anxiety. Indra, uh, you know, uh, Prithu Maharaj was sacrificing <coughs> hundred times, and Indra became very much anxious. That if Prithu becomes so great, then he may occupy my seat. Say so he wanted to put hindrances so that he may not. Uh, fulfill uh, so many yogas. So everyone is anxiety in this material world, <coughs> māyā. So our Krishna consciousness movement is to take uh, a personal all of them from this māyā to Vaibhūt. That is the Krishna consciousness. To save the living entity from anxiety and bring him to the platform of no anxiety. That is the difference. From anxiety to no anxiety. That is the greatest gift to the human society. Everyone is full of anxiety because he is in this material world. He must be full of anxiety. So yet the information is given. My art is a vapi bhikuntalu. There is another atmosphere, another nature where there is no anxiety. No anxiety. Kalpabrikala kha vriti su suravi ravi palayantam. Here we are keeping cows, but no milk. Angel. Uh, thousands of rupees spending and no milk, powder. You see, this is the position. Uh, uh, full of anxiety, all in. So you cannot be free from anxiety in this law. Therefore, in this life, in human form of life, you can understand by cultivating knowledge from the śāstra, from guru, and from saintly persons, what is the position, what I want, why I am full of anxiety, how it can be mitigated. So, Therefore, this information is given. Vaikun to look. Back to home. Jadgatyana nivartanti tadhamam paramam mamam. The Krishna consciousness moment is the only endeavor where uh, by becoming Krishna conscious you become transferred from this maya to Vaikun. This is the path. Uh, maya chite, beyond this maya, there is another uh, kingdom where there is no kuntha, vaikuntha loka. And there is management. As here, there is management. Uh, the king or president or ministers and so many things. There is also management. But that management is conducted by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, personal. Here the president or king manages whole thing, and therefore the ideal manager or the executive head is uh, a person who is a saintly person and devotee. That is one. 
in politics also there is need of devotee. The devotee, the politician, they first require to understand Krishna consciousness. If they actually want to do good to others, if they remain like animals, it is not possible. Then whole world, the people, will suffer. That is the position now. There is no standard ruler. A ruler must be representative of Krishna. That, that, that everything will. Just like Maharaj Yudhishthira. Maharaj Yudhishthira was representative of Krishna or Lord Ramchandra. He was God Himself, such executive head needed, not these rascals. Then he will never be happy. Simply by hook and crook you select some rascal president. Uh, he will never be happy. Uh, he must be Krishna Himself or Krishna's representative. <coughs> then people will be happy. They are thinking that the Bhagavad Gita is meant for some parasites. They are doing nothing and they are indulging in reading Bhagavad Gita and living at the cost of others. They are thinking like that. But actually, the ruler should be the well-conversant student of Bhagavad Gita. That is the statement in the Bhagavad Gita. Himangaraja Rusayogi. It is meant for the saintly kings. Because if the king or the president understands Bhagavad Gita, he can make solution of all the problems. But he remains a rascal, and uh, there is no solution. <coughs> They're simply fighting with one another. This politician is fighting with another politician. This is going on. Uh, this will never make us happy. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, it is better uh, to go away from this place and go back to home, back to God. Don't try to be happy under these rascals. It will never be possible. <coughs> that is the instruction of all sastras. And therefore, now the question was, who is to be elected or accepted as the ideal king. Prantsudrabhi <coughs> Maharaj was asking this question. That is very simple thing. The Kshatriyas, there are two Kshatriya families, and still they claim one from the sun god and one from the moon god, Chandravamsa Surya. In this material world there are two Chatriya families. Chatriyas are meant for ruling over. So everything is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. So you have to select ruler from these two dynasties, actually. Himangaraja Sayogi. You have seen the picture uh, drawn by our artist. Krishna is instructing the sun god. Himangurvasati Jugam Pratamana. So, Vaikuntha Loka, 
he is there. There is no problem. But you can make this māyā, lūkā, also by <coughs> lūkā, by spreading Krishna consciousness. The same quality. Just like iron is iron, but you can make it fire. How? Simply putting it into the fire. Gradually, one, one month, then it becomes red hot. At that time, the iron is no longer iron, it is fire. Similarly, he who can propagate Krishna consciousness constantly, then by spreading this Krishna consciousness movement, you can make the whole world uh, Krishna conscious and then it will be Vaikunt. The same example. You put the iron rod with the fire and it becomes hot, hotter, and then red hot. When it is red hot, then it is no more iron rod, it is fire. Anywhere you touch, it will burn. So our Krishna consciousness movement is for that purpose. Increase Krishna consciousness and uh, there will be no more kuntha, no more anxiety. Uh, people are trying to be uh, anxiety-less. And that is only possible by this movement. Put always in touch with Krishna. And the method is very simple. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. If you keep yourself in touch with Hare Krishna, uh, we have already been known as Hare Krishna people uh, all over the world. Hare Krishna people. So increase this population, Hare Krishna people. And it will go good. Thank you very much.